Hello and welcome back to the channel and happy Doctor Who Day because I'm recording this on Doctor Who's 58th anniversary and it's also going to be going out on Doctor Who's 58th anniversary a bit later in the day so a fairly quick turnaround but I didn't want to pass up on the opportunity to do this. It wasn't planned particularly. Uh, I have got a collection update coming up very soon because we're nearing the end of the month so I was going to just cover it there. But I thought, you know, what the hell, you know, it's Doctor's anniversary and it makes sense to do this today. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to pass up on that opportunity because look what's in front of me. It's the first Doctor from An Unearthly Child, a figure from 2010 from the Character Options figure line. And a figure that I never thought I'd have in front of me, least of all boxed. Really quite spectacular how this has come about, basically, as you'll know, if you've been watching my collection updates and things and keeping up to date on Twitter and etc., I have been trying to fill the gaps in my 5-inch figure collection these past few months or so, really. And this is one where someone just got in touch, the Celestial Toy Gazer on Twitter, to basically say that he'd got one going spare in the box, and we came to an arrangement, and here it is in front of me. A uh, complete coincidence, of course, that it arrived when it did. It arrived yesterday. We did wonder whether it was going to arrive on the anniversary itself, which uh, would have been even better in, in one sense, but then again, I wouldn't be able to do this video, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. But yeah, I have kept it in the box since it arrived yesterday, and I've decided to unbox it on camera for you today. So very, very exciting. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting it particularly to arrive when it did, and the way it was packaged as well, it was like in a cereal box, and uh, so it kind of looked like a shoe box or something when it arrived in the post. So I was like, oh, well, what's this? Is it the first Doctor? Could it be? And uh, yeah, it wasn't. I opened up the, the package and opened up the box and pulled him out, and you know, it's, uh, it's just amazing. I mean, I know we're getting a re-release of it of sorts, sort of God knows when. It was going to come out in mid-October for the B&M range. It didn't, uh, so God knows where, where they are, probably in the Suez Canal or somewhere. But uh, yeah, even so, I was really keen to get my hands on this initial variant, least of all because it contains the coat, which uh, is a unique sculpt. It hasn't been included on the, the new version for some reason. They've just done one with the, the scarf and without the cloak. And also as well, just uh, I think the paint apps on this are loads better. Like that was what hit me when I took it out of the box that it came in the packaging. Uh, that is a really great likeness to William Hartnell there and the paint. Uh, so yeah, really, really keen to crack this open. There is a part of me that sort of wants to leave it boxed, which is a bit unusual because I, I never ever leave Doctor Who figures boxed. I wouldn't ever dream of doing that. But there is something really pretty about the way this looks. But no, I'm going to open it up, put it on the shelf. Uh, so very, very exciting indeed. I don't know whether I might kind of try and preserve the packaging, maybe. I don't know how easy that's going to be. So let's work out how I'm going to do this. I think we should have to do it the, the usual way, to be honest, and just cut along the bottom. Uh, it was once in mint condition. It is now not. <laughs> so yeah, uh, today is Doctor Who's 58th anniversary. I mean, what an apt time for this to sort of work out and to, to arrive. Uh, yeah, just, just the timing couldn't have been better. Because obviously this is from the first story, or indeed, well, it says the pilot episode on the packaging. But I think actually it is from the initial you know, first story in Unearthly Child, the actual, uh, the, the proper version of it. Because the B&M version, I think, is meant to be from the pilot episode. That's why it's missing the cloak, because Hartnell didn't have the cloak in uh, that story or something. In the pilot version, at least. Do you know, it feels... It feels really weird cracking this open and cutting it open. It just feels like sacrilege in a sense, you know, because like it looks so pretty in the packaging, but no, it's got to be done, hasn't it? It can't be preserved. I think I've probably got enough of it there. So let's get the backing insert out first. Ta -da. I teased this yesterday on Twitter and someone tweeted me saying, you know, this packaging is just the best figure packaging ever, and I'm hard pressed to disagree really, because it's it's just so nostalgic, so eye-catching. The oranges and the blues, you know, even though these elements, you know, the logo and these colours and stuff, are completely different from a completely different era to you know 60s Doctor Who and the first Doctor. Even so, these things are just all synonymous because of the way these figures were packaged and you know back in the day and just. It's sort of ingrained in your memory, isn't it? It's uh, it's a weird one, but yeah, let's 
get the main event out of his box if he's going to come out. Come on, Billy. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to have to do the sniff test, I think. Just bear with me a second. Oh my god, <laughs> it does. It actually has the smell. Oh my goodness. That smell, you know, I think the first time I smelt that smell, in living memory, of course, is um, when I got the Sontaran Stratagem gift set, whatever it's called, back in the day, with the three Sontarans and Donna. And I just remember, for some reason, I don't know why, <laughs> at the age of seven, I would have been smelling my fresh out of the packet action figures. But um, yeah, gosh, that takes you back. It really, really does. And the Series 3 single card figures as well, I remember it from, and just... Anyway, <laughs> this is going to turn into a very different type of video if I don't move on. So, um, yeah, the smell of action figures, it's very nostalgic. Uh, if you've never, never tried that one, well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Basically, if you know, you know. Uh, let's just move that little thing out of the way, because it's annoying me. Very, very nice little uh, card there. That'll go into my folder of little name cards very nicely. I never quite know what to call those things, actually. Are they called, like, name cards, or I don't know, do they have a proper name? Um, I'll do it. Let me know. But yeah. Very, very exciting stuff. And I did a tweet um, a few months ago now, I think. I can't remember quite when. Which is basically all the um, the figures that I was missing. So I've done these kind of big images of all the figures I'm missing full stop. But I did a variation of that where it was just the figures with like newly sculpted parts that I'm missing. So basically everything that's not just a variant of something I've already got. And this was one of them because of the cloak and the head sculpt and the donut blazer as well of course so it's great to cross one of those off the list i've also managed to cross off captain jack and his long coat off that list recently and the axon creature as well I'm trying to remember everything anything else um but definitely those three so that's great i'll tell you what let's save billy himself for last and if these bits will come out skull first of all from the cave of skulls yeah, let's take a look at this first of all be or not to be, that is the question. Um, yeah, it's a skull. <laughs> Hardly the most interesting part of this, let's face it, but you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, when you see these figures and these images that are ingrained into your mind, you know, um, this was just an accessory that obviously didn't come with this figure when it was released with the TARDIS, and so it is just one of those bucket list things, which is great to have, you know, even though it is just a little skull. So I'll plonk you there. Then uh, the cane, second of all, which I do have one of already, the version that came with the um, Three Doctors, First Doctor and the Eleven Doctors set, I believe. But yeah, there it is. Very, very nice. Great to have another one of those. Um, I believe you didn't actually use that on screen until Marco Polo, so a bit inaccurate, but who cares. Um, and then, yeah, let's, let's crack open the man, the myth, the legend himself, William Hartnell, the chap who started it all off 58 years ago, today. Wow. Yeah, that is uh, really, really cool. And this, this plastic actually on the cape is more flexible than I thought it would be. Uh, it's strange. Had the same thing with Captain Jack's long coat, his trench coat. Um, but yeah, wow. This is awesome. And just so, so well timed. I mean, it was a complete coincidence, as I say, that this arrived when it did. But um, I mean, it couldn't have been signed better. Really, really couldn't. So let's just do the that essential thing you have to do with new figures of sort of moving their joints about and stuff. Oh, he's got... I was wondering why his arm was all the way back. He's got a little bit of something on him. Like a little bit of elastic or something. Was that meant to keep the cape in place? It's behind the cape. This is very confusing. Maybe it's meant to protect the cape or something. I don't know. I'm not quite sure I'm going to get that off, actually. Uh, help? Character options. Why must you make my life so difficult? <laughs> why would why would they do this? Why would they keep his arms glued together behind his back? It does not make a single bit of sense. In the very least, you'd think this would go around the cape as well. To A, keep things together, and B, just to make it easier to... Oh. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Right, I've got one arm off. There we go. Stupid bit of elastic, that. So, 
here we have him in all his glory. Yeah, his hands can now move about. Fantastic, he can do a little dance to celebrate 58 years of Doctor Who. I love the trousers as well, um, because I'll bring in a minute the other variants of the first Doctor that I own, it, which is basically every variant apart from the Dark Invasion of Earth slash Master Plan variants, which are basically the same, I think. The one that came in the Toys R Us two-pack with a Dalek, and the one that came with the San Diego Comic Con uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth, Supreme Dalek, whatever it is, the black one. Um, but yeah, I've never had the trousers that are quite like this. I've had the grey trousers on the Three Doctors one. Yeah, there he is. That was the first, first Doctor that I ever got. So uh, we have them, and then I got the uh, Web Planet one as well. Which, is it from the Web Planet? I don't know. They said it was from the Web Planet on the packaging, so I'm going to call it the Web Planet one. And of course, your, uh, your Sensorites one as well, from the most recent b and wave. So yeah, had those three already with the sort of plain grey trousers and the sort of checked brown trousers. Great to have the checked sort of light grey trousers in the collection, which obviously are exclusive to this variant and to those other Master Plan and Invasion of Earth variants. So there we have it, and what a fantastic, fantastic way to celebrate William Hartnell's and Doctor Who's legacy in 58 years of this wonderful little show. Uh, yeah, so, so happy that this coincided with the anniversary. And a massive thanks to the Celestial Toy Gazer once again for sending this figure to me and, and making the offer in the first place. Um, just fantastic to have this in the collection. It's one of those figures that I never thought I'd get my hands on. So to have it in the collection is, is very surreal, really. I really hope you are enjoying Doctor Who's 58th anniversary, if you're watching this on the day it goes out, however you may or may not be celebrating. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a like if you have enjoyed it, and leave a comment below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel for more Doctor Who related content, both Doctor Who collection and figure related content, and also stuff about the new series about Flux as well. But until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Thank you so much for watching, happy Doctor Who day, and goodbye for now.